Today I'm discussing a topic called progressive non-inflammatory muscle growth. Imagine your ability to build muscle in your body without having all the soreness, without having all the post-workout pain. The process is relatively simple. You do this every single day and progressively over time by compounding time because you're doing it daily, it will increase your muscle tissue dramatically. And so it's really, it's really a cool process. And um, a lot of people ask me about it all the time. And what, what is it that I do on a regular basis as part of my daily ritual to help not just maintain muscle growth, but to actually create new muscle in a way that your body really enjoys it rather than having it be a painful experience or even potentially causing injuries later on down the road. So I thought I'd make this quick video and just really just, just talk about it. Progressive non-inflammatory muscle growth. So let's just explain what I did. I just picked three exercises. I mean, eventually you could do more, but my suggestion is to start with three, build later on. So I picked for my, what I did is I picked push-ups, crunches, and squats. And the question that I was able to ask myself was how many do I need to do or how many could I do so that the next day I could do them again and my body, my muscles wouldn't even remember doing those the day before. So I would have no soreness, almost feel like I didn't have any memory of the actual exercises the day prior. And then what number could I start with that I'm confident that I could do that every single day? I had a person the other day tell me 30. I said, 30 push-ups is a lot to start off with, which trust me, after day three or day four, those 30 are gonna feel like 300. So for me personally, and I was in relatively good shape when I started this program. I chose on my first day for push-ups that I was going to do 10. And for crunches, I thought, well, they're a bit easier and it's a different type of muscle than the chest muscle. So I thought I'll double that number. I can easily do 20 crunches, no problem. And for squats, I picked 10. So these three exercises on day one, I did 10 push-ups, 10 crunches, and 10 squats. So what would you do? You have to plug your own numbers in. And now just follow my formula. On the next day, you get up, whatever time of day that you're gonna do these exercises, don't miss. And on day two, you're going to do the same. 10 push-ups, 20 crunches, 10 squats. Obviously replacing your number. Don't necessarily use mine, unless you feel like these numbers confidently will suit you. I really started conservatively and the thought was, I'm investing in my health. It, it's an investment for me. It's not something that I actually need to uh, occur overnight. I'm investing in the capacity to grow muscle. When I was 25, I wanted it how fast? I wanted it overnight. But later on in my years, I'm 45 at the time of this taping, it's more important for me to grow it progressively and in a way that I know that it'll stay with me in a healthy way. Here's the trick. On day three, this is what I changed. I added one, 11 push-ups, 21 crunches, and 11 squats. Day one, day two, numbers are the same, but when you reach day three, that is when you add one. You just add one on top of what you're doing. Now day three, this is one cycle. When you hit day three, it also counts as day one of your next cycle. So this is, even though it's day three of the first cycle, this is day one of your second cycle. And your second cycle, day, day two, which is now day four, I'm gonna do the same number, 11, 21, and 11, and use whatever numbers work for you. Day five, which is now really day three of the second cycle, I do the same thing, I add one. Now I move my numbers from 12, 22, and 12. So I've added and I've progressed. This is the progressive part. The non-inflammatory part is the number that you started with didn't initiate a massive inflammation response in your body. Hence, lactic acid production is low. Muscle response is high because it still has to be responding. But just like as if you were investing in your, in your bank account, you may start off with a small amount of money, maybe only 10% of your earnings. But over time, and it may not happen in the first year, maybe year two, maybe four, year five, where you're gonna start seeing growth that is, feels substantial for you. So don't feel like that this is, well you may feel like this is not very substantial movement. But remember, we're compounding time. This is daily activity. This is every single day, not three days a week, every single day, seven days a week. 
Now this is really what? Day one of cycle what? Three. So day one of cycle three, and then what do I do? On day two of cycle three, I keep the numbers the same. That's really day six. When I get into day seven, this is day three of the third cycle, and what do I do? The same thing that I did prior, I add one, and now I'm up to 13, 23, and 13. And quickly, let's just review a few rules. Every single day you're gonna do this activity. So what this is, the way it works out is just every single time you do it, it's two steps forward. But when you miss a day, it's like taking one step back. Just keep that in mind, don't miss any days. However, what we, we do know from naturally is that something will naturally get in the way at some stage and you will organically miss a day. If you miss a day, then restart your last cycle. So say for example, I'm here on day four and I miss day five. If I miss day five, I want to start this cycle back over again. I want to restart that, that cycle. And if I restart that cycle, then I'll go through. I don't want to just miss a day and then jump into the one up. Another rule is speed is important. Go quickly. Really move fast. Don't um, spend time laboring in your push-ups or laboring in your crunch, trying to get a squeeze or laboring in your squats trying to really exactly target the exact muscle fibers that you want. Go quickly. But in that, when you're going quickly, good alignment is vital. You need to align yourself properly. And there's lots of resources on how to align yourself with whatever exercise you choose. Follow these simple rules. Do it every single day. And I promise you, over a period of time, you're going to see and experience and feel the power of compounding time.